Welcome to the video. We're here with Lato Visma. We're flexing up Torrens Hill Road. Torrens Hill Road, it doesn't look steep, but it is definitely one of the steepest roads around. It's a short three, four minute climb, depending on how many watts you're putting out. It makes your legs burn. Now the question is, Harley, Duranite, why do your legs burn? How to prevent the burn? There's many things you can do in today's video in under five minutes. I'm going to show you some tips on how to minimize the burn. The first step is gear choice. If your cadence is under 90, your legs are going to burn more. Why is that? Because there's more muscle contraction. And the higher the muscle contraction, the more the burn. And the burn comes from the contracting muscles. The burn comes from the lactic acid, which produces more hydrogen ions. That's the main cause of the burn. So by spinning at about 90 RPMs, you can use a cadence meter or your power meter, you will be able to spin and flush that lactic acid out easier, faster, better. We're not looking for easy, we're looking for, <laughs> we just changed teams. I just changed contract now with Movistar. We're not looking really for easier, we're looking for better. Because if you get caught up in easy, when pain happens, you'll go, oh, there's too much pain, I don't like this. So I always focus on easy, 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 in terms of easy life, that's good. But I, what I recommend now is, you know, hope for easy, but pray for the strength, the mental strength to endure a lot of pain. And pain is necessary. Suffering is optional. This video is full of gold nuggets. Keep listening. So look at these guys here, Movistar, really cadence orientated and just Spanish climbers just spinning, you know, Valverde, the guns, you know, the Spanish Armada with the cadence, look at that cadence. We're still about 90, and we're just romping up here at about 350 watts, just romping up the climbs. And by spinning, you're just flushing that lactic acid, flushing the hydrogen ions, all right? So we've got cadence here, 90 cadence. 90 to 100, that's peak, that's awesome. If you can't do 90 cadence when you're trying to go hard, put some easy gears on your bike, all right? The pros do, you should too. Now, the next tip, huge tip, is your nutrition. What diet are you eating? What diet are you eating? What's going on here? I'm looking at the sky. Change teams again. What diet are you eating? If you're eating a lot of meat or animal products, animal products are full of metabolic waste products. So I do recommend going vegan for performance. A lot of these, a lot of these pro riders now are vegan part-time or full-time or semi-time. They are. You, you talk to them and they're like watching my videos. They know the deal. You know, got like Adam Hansen, Simon Geschker and... Yeah, they, they are starting to understand the benefits of vegan or plant-based or vegetarian, whatever you want to call it, because meat contains metabolic... If it, when that animal gets murdered in the, you know, in the concentration camp, farm, organic, wherever you want to... On the death floor, the factory floor, the farm floor, the slaughterhouse floor, it's pumping full of adrenaline and fear and fatigue and everything. It's just kicking along. So when you eat that slab of meat, now, your kidney and liver has to process that. So that's just extra stuff your body has to process. And so fatigue metabolites in your legs from your nutrition, from your meat, your dairy, your eggs, your fish, that adds up. And when you're chasing just 10 watts, some of these guys are chasing 5 watts. Some people spend $1,000 on a ceramic speed derailleur pulley to save 1 watt. 1 watt. All right, so if you're eating meat, and dairy and having all these fatigue metabolites, your legs are going to burn more. And I've got to say, I've been a meat eater. I've been a paleo, primal, carnivore, whatever you want to call it. And I've raced at that level. I, I race at the same level as I, I do now. Actually, I'm fitter now, so I lie. But I've raced you know, at my own personal intensity level. And the legs definitely burn more on the meat. They just do. And this isn't me being vegan biased or whatever. This is just totally being honest and open. Your legs burn. The more meat you eat, the more heat in your legs they just it's just fact and this is what i noticed coaching thousands of people over the last two decades is that the vegan riders have less pain all right they have less pain now the next thing is is dealing with pain now because you might be a vegan which is fantastic but you might be really soft in the head so you you'll be getting good performance but your head lets you down all right so you, your diet's really good so your head so the other one is your head all right you want to make sure you, you don't give you don't really give a crap i mean less pain's great but you understand pain is necessary to some degree, but suffering is optional. Suffering is optional, all right? So get your cadence going. Get your vegan thing going. Get your carbs going. Make sure you have a lot of refined sugar. 
if, you, if you're running out of muscle glycogen, your legs are going to burn more. If you're getting dehydrated, if, you, if you're pissing yellow versus clear, your legs are going to burn more. All right, so let's recap it. Biggest one, cadence. You want to have 90 cadence when you're pushing hard. Second one, nutrition. Cut out the animal products. Increase the amount of white rice, pasta, sugar, fruit, vegetables. I'll say it again. Corn, potatoes, rice, sugar, some vegetables, pasta, cereal, soy milk. That'll give you the carbohydrates you need for the muscle glycogen and the power that pushes the pedals along. Right? And drink enough water so you get enough blood plasma enough blood volume so you can really pump that blood around your body and that's where the power comes from the blood that's why people take certain things to increase the blood now you can do that with water and vitamin b12 injections people say i don't want to do that i don't want to do that okay that, that's cool but if you watch five minutes of this video you're probably serious about performance and if you're not click off and go and subscribe to dr berg or someone i'm talking the real deal here these are the tips that allow me, as a 42-year-old weekend warrior hubbard that I am, I can keep up with pro riders when they're going hardcore in training up the Adelaide Hills, all right? On my bamboo bike. I'm on a bamboo bike, and I'm making these videos for world tour riders, all right? So this stuff works. This stuff works. And the pros are taking it on board now. Fantastic. Fantastic. Mountain. This is the Riders, Kent. Yep. Go. Out the top of the mountain. Incredible. Like just we're above the clouds. It's insane. I'll get some more views.